What's going on guys? Kevin Fox from Fox Fishing 4K. So today we are going to be out looking for some black crappie and today we're going to show you how to target these species, why to pick certain areas and how you break down an area to catch them. So today we're on a lake and there's a giant bowl here. And what these fish do is they'll sit right out in the deepest part of the bowl, especially in a shallower lake that the lake only gets 35 feet deep or so. They don't sit shallow in the weeds. They go out into the middle of the bowl where the, the little grubs and bloodworms and things hatch, and that's what they're feeding on. So these fish will suspend, and that'll be your bigger fish. So today, we're gonna fish the middle of the bowl and work up the edge and try to find this school. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a grid pattern and I'll show you guys how we do this. So we're gonna drill this whole area and then we're gonna put the live scope in the middle, find where the school is and hopefully drop on them. Because if you try to drill first, see them, drill on top of the school, they're gone. So stay tuned, let's try to make this happen. Woo! Let's start the grid. On. Right now, this is going to be forward perspective. This thing is going to be level, so we can shoot out about 120 feet of that. Up, installation, orientation, I'm going to forward. All right. I'll look out, like I said, 100 feet in all directions, and we'll find this good school. Okay, I'm going to walk around, and I'm going to try to find the biggest school for us. I'm marking some. That's decent. <sighs> 60 feet that way. <sighs> Nothing. Look at look at the school. Look at look at look at this. Look at look at this. Check this out, dude. I'll go at 130. Watch this school. Oh, yeah. Watch. Boom, 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 boom. There's. That's the big school. Look at. Oh yeah. See all that? It's like 20 feet. 10 feet up. Okay, so yeah, 120 feet this way. Yeah. Let's go. They're gonna be there for sure. All right, let's go. There's some five feet from me right now. Look at this. Look at it over here. This whole area, dude. Wherever your handle's pointing, okay. you're looking, right? Yeah, so right now, 10 feet from the handle. Holy shit, look at 30 feet, dude. Look at this thing. That's what I'm saying. 30? 30 back. Look at this. From 10 feet to 30 feet, there's a 20 foot school. There's a new one? Yeah. Let me try one. Let try one. I'm gonna find some of killer. Hopefully, they bite. They weren't biting on the bear king and, king and stuff, so I'm hoping they'll bite These on These are a little big, eh? Yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> What'd you do with my flashlight? Okay. What's that? Yeah. Here. I got one right here. I got that? Yeah, there you go. Here, give her a glow. They're flying up for this rock score. I don't know if they're gonna bite it, but holy mother, are they coming up quick at that thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one hit good. It's not the big one though, but man, did he ever slam that? Oh, that one came up and cracked it. Oh, that's better, that's better. Get out of there. There we go. Swallowed that rock score. Quentin, check this out, man, that's better. And this was the smaller one. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. That's better. That's nice. Oh, I want the big one though. There's one down here, like double that size, dude. 
Oh, dude, th this one. Watch this, man. Watch how freaking much these things react to this. Look at them all. Look at them all coming up. Watch it. Watch them all. Did you go here? There's one coming up. Oh, this one. Is there? Yeah. Oh, that little one came out there. Get out of here, little I'm dinks. Up. I'm going to try to go down in between them all. Oh, there's, there it is. Oh, fuck. I thought that was for sure. Yeah, when you're filming, uh, if you shine it on a TV or any kind of screen, you can always see the flashing. Yeah, it, it won't show up though when you view it. Go down, buddy. No. All right, let's see. I'm not even feeling the bite, dude. No, that's how I was the same thing. See, got one. Didn't even feel it, dude. That looks like the same rock bass. Oh, I know, dude. It's probably the same guy. It's little piglets, those things. Oh, I know. Yeah. Might have to move soon. They start going down. What? And they slam it, dude. Watch. I'll wait up here. Watch them. Look at these guys. Those are nice ones. Oh, there's a little one. See the little guy? Damn, mine feels good too. Oh no, did it get off? Mine, mine isn't fight. Oh yeah, no, that's nice. Yeah, not quite. Almost there, but not quite. There's one. Just cranking them on this thing, man. Just cranking them. This feels better, dude. Oh, oh. Let's go. Ah. Nah. Not quite. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Here. I got one right here. Uh, that one. Nope, right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw that on. Throw that on, throw a little bit of the scent on. Actually, I'm gonna get mine going down. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Put a little bit of that shit on, we'll glow her up. Yeah, it's gonna get all the way down the tail, yep. No fucking just hammer that fucking thing. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's what I was doing, and then I was just jigging a little bit, and then just slowly keep jigging all the way up. And the best thing about these things, every five seconds, I just set the hook. Because it doesn't matter, you're not gonna lose it. You can catch 100 on one bait. Oh, that's a good one, bud. That's a good one. Oh, I've got some good marks on my screen. Big school's in. Big school. Big school coming in. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Nice, I hear your drag going a little bit. No, that one's small. I want the one behind it. Get away. Oh, I see a nice one. Get away. There's a little one trying to get it. Come on. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. 25 feet. Oh, look at Andrew. Oh.
Yeah, it's just small and crappy. <laughs> Hey guys, heading back home now. Uh, we just got off the water. Top bait today was definitely the Rocks Core Lures. And one thing nice about it, I caught probably 40 crappie on one jig. It didn't tear the tail off. I was able to set the hook anytime I wanted uh, without fear of losing my wax worm or fear of losing my minnow or not knowing if I had bait down there. And all we did was take the Rocks Core Lure, put a little redolence uh, bait fish scent on there glow it up with the UV light, the scent glows, the rocks core lures themselves glow, and the crappie would just, as they see it coming down, they would just fly up for it. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, the scent and the rocks core lures are both on www.foxfishing4k.com. We are the only sellers of rocks core in all of Canada, same as like steel shad glow lures and stuff. Most of the stuff on the site is exclusive to the site. So anything you see there, largely the only place you can get it in Canada. So check that out. I encourage you guys to go out and use this information that I'm telling you to find crappie on your own lakes. I get asked a His lot of times. Is 50 kilometers per hour. Sorry about that. I get asked a lot of times, where do you find crappie? What lakes and stuff? If you have a lake and the max depth is 45 feet, look at your navionics or look at your uh, depth readings and find these bowls where it curves down that's where the little nymphs and blood worms and all these little things hatch in the very deep part of the lake and that's what the crappies sit there all winter to eat so find the bowls don't fish shallow find these deep spots you definitely need a sonar it definitely helps live scope helps even more um, but look for those suspended fish today they're all on the bottom and that's likely why they were smaller when the big schools come in and they're suspended, that's a lot of time your uh, larger crappie. Start with real tiny little jigs, and sometimes it's a minnow bite, sometimes it's a, today was a rocks core bite, uh, sometimes it's a bear king bite, like little tiny blood worms, wax worms, little nymphs, things like that. So try different things, look on your sonar and see what they're coming up for. What are they biting? Um, also today, with the rocks core lure, if I just let it sit there and did little tiny wiggles like this, they wouldn't bite. They wanted to be aggressive. I think it was more of like a reaction bite. They wanted me down there really jigging that lure, ripping it up, jigging frantically, ripping it up. And that's what they would hit. A lot of times I was not feeling that bite. I'd go down, jig, 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 rip it up, and boom, uh, it was a hook set. It was already on there. So take this information, try it out, have some fun. Take some kids out for some pan fish and on to the next one. We'll see you around. Bye-bye.